live from Arlington, Texas, Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Arizona Diamondbacks and the Texas Rangers. John Shambi, Chris Singleton with you. Chris, one guy having a big year for this club, leading the team at home runs and runs batted in, Christian Walker. Yeah, Boog, he's one of the pillars of this lineup. And when you have a guy like that that's so consistent and so productive, you want to make sure you can do whatever you can to get him to the plate. Get him as many at-bats as you can in a ball game. If you do that, you got a really good chance of scoring a lot of runs. First pitch coming your way next. All right, just about set to go. Today's starting pitcher, Jose Urania. And Singy, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure, he's more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position. Most guys, they get a little tight, they start to aim the baseball, but for some reason, he gets looser, the ball comes out of his hand with more life, and he's able to wiggle off the hook of you know tough situations and get his team back in the dugout. Kicks and deals. Got him looking. Now one away. Here's Cattell Marte. That pitch gets the corner, and it's 0 and 1. Righty to the plate. Outside no, low, and yeah, the count even one and one. One one. There's ah, the strike. Two. One and two. Foul ball. The one two, and two, another two. ball. This guy's a fun guy to watch taking it bad. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on the pitchers out there. You can tell they get frustrated with how long it takes to put him away. Couldn't pull the trigger on a fastball at the knees. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two- or three-run homer. Two outs. Hard ground ball, base knock. There was nothing cheap about the way he got that one through the infield. That was ripped, caught out in front, and didn't get under it like he would have liked, but definitely put a good swing on it. Two outs, runner at first. And now it's Christian Walker. Ball. And takes low for ball one. One ball, no strikes. Two gone, but the go-ahead run is at first. And we're just getting started here in the top of the first. And now two and nothing. And that's in there at the knees. Right hander kicks deals. And that one is lifted in the air. In position, hauls it in to end the inning. One left for Arizona. Now the Rangers will get their first crack. We're scoreless. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Back at Globe Life Field. And today's starter, Ryan Nelson. And Chris, he's a guy that gets better when things get tough. 
Well, you know this guy wants to be better than that. I mean, the ERA is bloated. He understands that he's got to put his team in a better position to win ball games. And at this point, you have to forget about your own individual stats and you have to go out there and attack and try to get that W. And if you do that, you'll look up and most likely that ERA will have dropped over time. And a pinch. Marcus Simeon, the leadoff batter, as he looks at ball one. for a base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. That is second. No left Up hit. next for the Rangers, Evan Carter. Simeon runs. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. Swing and a miss. That is strike two. The two strikes may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. Righty delivers. Hard hit, base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Tucker Barnhart coming into the game now as the injury replacement. Number 16. First and second. No outs. Next up for Texas, Josh Smith. The shortstop oh. takes a ball. And a pitch. There's a strike, 95 of that one. And downstairs. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. Not close with that one. And the count is three and one. Good pitchers make pitches in big situations, and right here with the middle of the rips that one center field. Base hit into the outfield. Simeon rounds third, headed for the plate. He scores, and they have the lead. One nothing. Always feels good when you come through and get your team on the board first. Just a very nice approach and swing right there to use the big part of the field. Everything was on time. He stayed balanced through the entire swing and just launched that one into center. Next to bat, the Texas cleanup hitter, Adolis Garcia. Not getting the results he's wanted at the plate recently Boom. under the Mendoza line so far this month. It's 0 and 1. This might be the most pressure you put on this guy today. You got one run in, you got to try to get another one or maybe two. Next Ball, pitch misses it. inside, and it's 1 and 1. It's great to get on the board in the first frame of the ball game, but here's an opportunity for them to really open things up with a couple of runners off. Off balance feed, there's one. Throw to first, oh, but he, he beat, beat it. He beat. So because of the injury, a replacement needed at third. And here's the pinch runner, Derek Hill. Travis Jankowski stepping in for the Rangers. Good defender. He's been inconsistent offensively. Ground ball could be two. Slings to second, and that's two. So one run in the inning on this base hit. It's now 1-0. Back after this on the show.
Now into the game, Derek Hill. He'll be out in left field. Number 75. Well, one run game. Here's Guriel. The left fielder, Mortis Guriel. Urania back to work. And that one fouled off. The line of the pitch. Guriel gets a piece. And he grounds one back up the middle. Dives and he can't hang on. No throw and he's on it first. Randall Gritchick now. Fastball for a strike. Oh, one down. And that one fouled off. One, two. Squirts away a little bit. To second, but way too late. Safe there. Guriel into scoring position on the wild pitch, and there goes the double play possibility. Definitely trying to work down and get that double play ball, but it got away enough to erase any chance of that. Good job of moving up into scoring position. Now a hit could make that wild pitch really sting. This is off the inside, and that's ball two. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. That misses the zone. Three and two now. Kicks and fires. He fouls it off. We'll do it again. Well, he missed a hittable off-speed pitch right there. Not sure exactly with the timing. Sometimes you get a backup breaking ball. You're expecting it to make its move at the end. It never does. And you're tied up. And yeah, there's ball four. First and second, no outs. A Eugenio Suarez up to hit down. I'm curious how he decides to attack on the mound. Yeah. This guy at the plate has been great hitting under pressure this year. The pitch. There's a line drive to left field. And that's a base hit. Coming home. The relay throw. He'll score and they've tied it. It's 1-1. Well, there you go. The RBI machine. Another clutch run scoring at bat. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want. But his resume speaks for itself. Gabriel Moreno stands in now for the Diamondbacks. And that's in there for strike one. Oh, and one. With the go ahead run at third, here at the top of the second. That's in there. Oh, and two. Boom, one of our favorites, Jerry Hillsdale umpiring behind home plate in this one. Pretty much by the book with his strike zone. And because he's so by the book, you'll sometimes see pitchers questioning him. They'll make a good pitch on the edge of the zone, want the strike, and not get the Ball, call. But down. most of the time, Jerry gets it right. He's a good one. And the righty deals. Down the line, it's a base hit. In comes the runner from third. It's 2-1. Well, he wasn't afraid to hit with two strikes. I think he choked up a little bit, maybe spread out, but he got the job done right there. The batter now, Kevin Newman. I'm liking what I've seen from him at the dish lately, hitting better than 350 this month. Up and in, and that's ball one. Suarez, the lead runner at second. Moreno at first with no outs.
And here it comes. That missed. That's the ball. And oh. another ball. Corbin Carroll to bat next. Popped up to the left. Into foul ground. Hauls it in for the out. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but competitor like him, he is looking forward to making up for it in his next at bat. This is Corbin Carroll. Caught looking his first time up. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. This guy absolutely flies. The defense wants to turn two, but they've got to get a ball they can do it with. Make sure you get the first out before you try to rush and get two and end up with nothing. That's the ball. Yeah, that's outside. outside. And it's a ball and a strike. Runners at first and second with one gone. Yeah. Next offering is in for a strike. <laughs> left hand hitter waits. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Brings it in. And there are two outs. Cattell Marte up to the plate. He's been really clutch with runners in scoring position this season, so they'll have to be extra careful in this matchup. Misses That's off it. the play. 1 0. And that That's one is ball. inside. Home plate umpires trying to tighten out. things up a little bit. Two on, two outs. That clips the corner. In today's game, not that many fastball counts, but hitters still in the back of their minds, they're looking for one. 2-0 changeup call right there. Excellent pitch selection to go with. Two outs. Swing at a chopper. Simeon. They take the first out. They don't come much closer than that. Bang, bang, play to end the inning. But two runs for them, and they jump ahead. Now to the bottom of the second. It's the Diamondbacks 2 and the Rangers 1. Bottom half of inning number 2. Now, Nathaniel Lowe. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. Here comes a pitch. Right through there for a strike. Hit. So a man on base to start the inning. Well, that may end up being an at bat we go back to later on when this game is over. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Here's Leody Tavares. First That's pitch misses. And he deals. Pulled hard, but it's a foul ball. The pitch. Grounder might be two. On a second, they get one, and they turn the double play. As a former player, watching 5 4 3 double plays brings back some adrenaline. It's such an exciting play, and it's always a great reminder of baseball being such a team sport. Ezekiel Duran stepping in for the Rangers. Swinging a foul over the screen and back out of play. The Rangers down by a run. Bottom half of inning number two. 
towards first. Barnhart. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Back in Arlington, and Jack Peterson stands in. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. Hard ground ball based now. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Oh, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Pretty tough for the infielders to do anything with that one. He pulled it hard into the outfield, and even when you keep it on the ground, it feels great when you hit a missile like that. And now the batter is Tucker Barnhart, taking his first at bat of the game after entering on defense. Oh, he doesn't get the call. Ball one. Well, these Diamondbacks doing a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way, and I'm seeing very patient at bats out of them. They're doing a good job of working the pitch count, and they've been able to push a couple of runs across to score as well. The 1-1. One, one. Foul ball there. Still relatively early, but with the pair of runs already on the board, the ripple effect of that high pitch count might set them up to do more damage later in this game. Off the plate, ball two. Swings through him for the K. Blew the express right by his bat for strike three. Here's Lourdes Gurriel Jr. is in for a strike. It's 0-1. Man at first, one away. Ball That's one the ball. there. One ball, two strikes. Wouldn't That's chase that time. Just uh -oh. misses with that one. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Three, two now. That's a good at bat right there. He was down early in that plate appearance. Works the walk. Now batting right field. Rainbow. So first and second with one gone. And now Randall Gritchick. He walked and came around to score his first time up. At the dish, yeah. looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, Boog. Peterson over at second. Guriel at first, one gone. Next pitch is outside. Yeah, that's outside. It's a big opportunity right here, but I love the way he's slowing the game down. He's shrinking his zone, making sure he gets the pitch that he wants to hit. Next offering is down low. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. At the belt and fires. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Now that the pitcher wants a ground ball double play opportunity here, you've got to lay off pitches down in the zone. Right there, swinging at that pitch, that's a no-no. On the ground a second, might be two. Looks for one. The double play ends the inning and might have saved the game for them. Pitcher made the pitch, and his players made the play behind him. Nice job, 4-6-3, inning ending double play. Welcome back to the ballpark. Bottom of the inning. Now the catcher for the Rangers, Andrew Kisner. 
the pitch. Just no, missed. Ball. And fouled off. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. A swing and a miss as he chases way out of the zone. Pitch no, misses ball. there. Two and two. Good spot there, but didn't get the strike at the knees and doesn't seem too convinced by the call out there on the mound as he tries to get a better sense of the umpire strike zone. Looking to get the tying run on base. Still two and two after the foul ball. In the air, left side. Guriel has it sized up. And out number one on the grab. Number, number two, second baseman. Now it's Marcus Simeon. Singleton scored his first time. Missed with a changeup. Ball one. Wow. Fouled off. He was late. One down. Base is empty. And a count one and two. And the right hander deals. Foul ball still a one and two count. Holding on to a one run lead here in the last half of the third. Fouls it off, still one and two. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. Got him to go up the ladder for the K. So next to him for Texas, Derek Hill. Entered the game as a pinch runner. First plate appearance for him here. And the pitch is in for a strike. 0-1. Two outs, base is empty. And a foul ball. Righty to the plate. Pitch misses. Now one and two. O2 two fastball way out of the zone. I think he's trying to speed him off. Got to stay back. Off speed's probably coming. Right-hander kicks, deals. Got it by him for the K. One, two, three, go the Rangers. And they trail it here, two to one. Start of the fourth, A. Eugenio Suarez up to the plate now. Urania back to work. Misses no, that's, that's outside. Nice. And that is ball one. Movement in the bullpen. Michael Lorenzen, the hard throwing righty, is up and loosening. Number 63, also throwing. And the 1 0. -oh. Nope, ball. That to right, Jankowski towards the line, makes a nice grab at a full sprint. What a way. Man, Boog, I love watching an outfielder take on the wall to make that play, and it's a lot easier to watch from up here because that can be painful in the end. You know the wall's coming up on you quickly, so you have to maintain concentration and able to make that catch and hold onto it after contact. Pulls that one foul. One out, base is empty. 
Next pitch is downstairs. Righty delivers. And the one two misses to even the count. One down, base is empty. Inside, three and two to count. In the air, right field. Simeon makes the grab, and there's two gone. Now that's a tough play for the infielder, oh, ranging back right. into the outfield. There's part of him that's saying, hey, where are you at, outfielder? Call me off. But he stayed focused and made a nice catch right there. Two outs, base is empty. Now a chance for Kevin Newman. That right. one finds the zone. That's strike one. The shortstop takes the ball. Two down, nobody on. Top half of inning number four. And another wow. ball. Pretty easy to give up on that pitch right there. Started on the edge of the plate with the spin. You know it's going to finish well off the plate. Kicks and fires. Full count. And he chases that one. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Nothing doing for Arizona, but they still lead it two to one. And we're back at the play. Josh Smith. That's your stop. And a pitch. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. He's been pitching well, but we'll see what kind of adjustment the hitters make this second time through the order. We'll know if he's got really good stuff in this one or not. And a base hit. And the tying run is on with a leadoff single. A couple of hits in a row for him here. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle. Allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. Next to bat will be the Texas cleanup hitter, Adolis Garcia. Breaking ball inside, and that's ball one. The pitch. That's in there. One ball, one strike. With the tying run on at first, we're here in the bottom of the fourth. Fall off foul. Pitch misses there. Two and two. This one in the air. He's under it. Makes the grab one away. Well, that's what he's looking for with the fastball above the zone. A swing and miss or weak contact. And now the right fielder, Travis Jankowski. He hit into a double play his first time up. Here's the pitch. Runner goes. And that one fouled off. Smith, the base runner at first with one out. And fouled off. Oh, and two now. Got him! That's the second out. Nathaniel Low up to hit. And he's already singled in this game. 
Typically the outfield defense will play a little bit deeper just to keep the ball in front, make sure that runner on first doesn't come all the way around to score and tie this ball game up. That one close, rule the ball. One and oh. It's getting squeezed a little bit here late. Fouled off, he was late. Two outs. Swung on, belted. And he one hops the wall. Runner around third on his way to the plate. He'll score, and the Rangers tie the game. It's 2-2. Two -two. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. So, runner at second, two down. Digging in is the switch inning outfielder, Leody Tavares. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Two outs and one at scoring position. Next offering is in for a strike. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. One and two. Count. Outside low. It's two and two. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Two-two on the way. A little bit low. That's a really good take. Ezekiel Duran waiting to hit for the Rangers. Gets a piece and stays alive. Three-two on the way. This one high in the air to left center. Guriel trying to get there. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that is the inning. Rangers get one on the RBI double. 2-2 game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. We're back, and there's a new arm on the mound to start the fifth. Michael Lorenzen. He's been so good against lefties. So the batting order turns over. Corbin Carroll now at the plate. Corbin Carroll. The pitch. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. And now the count is even. One and one. Kicks and deals. And now two and two. Just missed. Cattell Marte waiting to hit for the D backs. Three-two now. 
The other way. Pulls it in. One away. It's never fun going back to the dugout after hitting a line drive that finds a glove, but you will get some high fives. You know, when you make great contact, you feel like you've done everything right. But in this game of baseball, not everything is in your control. Marte swings through it for strike one. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. Pitch is in there. Oh, two now. Oh, this guy's so comfortable hitting with two strikes. Even a good pitch early in the at bat. If he's not ready to pull the trigger, he's not worried if he gets to an 0 2 count. All tied up. And we're at the top of the fifth. Just off the inside corner. And the count one and two. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Line drive. Hits it away for the out. That swing right there tells me he's seeing the ball pretty well. I know it didn't produce a hit, but he made solid contact, and that's all you're looking to do anytime you're at the plate. Here's Jack Peterson. And the first pitch misses for ball one. One and out. That one upstairs. You get to this part of the order. Yeah, there's some pop there, but more likely there are some base hits. So very important to be patient. Let the pitcher walk you, if he will. He Started after the 2 0, down to peel to third. No swing. And batter waits. Fouls one away and now three and two. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Two down, nobody on. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Ninth pitch of the at bat due next. Lifted in the air, right center field. Sizing this one up. Nabs it, and that is that. Globe Life Field. We head to the bottom of the fifth. And now here is Ezekiel Duran. And a pitch. There's a strike. Double barreled action in the bullpen. Bryce Jarvis getting loose out there. Ginkle, a hard throwing right hander, up as well. Here comes a pitch. Swings through the fastball up in the zone. No ball, two strikes. Got him. And that's the first out. Now that pitch wasn't even close to being a strike, and that just goes to show you how defensive hitters can become when they're up against an 0-2 count. You're just hoping for a mistake somewhere near the zone that you can get the bat to, but right there, he was clearly anxious. He was swinging when the ball left the hand. Here's Andrew Kisner. Hey, Fastball in for a strike. Going one. He's been going after these guys consistently, and as a result, he's been able to keep his pitch count low. Throwing the ball very well right now. Go, 
On the ground to the left. Into the outfield. Base hit. So the one out hit turns the lineup over. There you go. Winning run is aboard with one down. Just one of those seam eye base hits through the infield. He just kind of rolled over on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock. So the Rangers batting order turns over. Here is Marcus Simeon. Single to score back in the first. He's one for two. And there's the strike. And he deals. Swing a high fly ball deep left field. That's back there. A two-run homer, and the Rangers walk it off. Hitting a walk-off homer is the kind of thing you dream about growing up. You're in the backyard, you're creating the most pressure-packed scenario, and what do you do? You come through with the big swing. Well, he was living a childhood moment right there. Nice swing of the bat, nice win for the team. And your final 4-2. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.